When we need something finesse, like a Ned Rig or any other ultra light presentation, the problem is the conditions are tough and we need to get that distance between us and those bass. Well, in this video, I'm going to go ahead and go over four tips that are gonna help you cast these really small presentations like a Ned Rig at a distance. And number four was a real game changer for me. Number one, you must eliminate line twist. That line coiling through the eyes of the rod creates a ton of friction and absolutely will crush the distance that you can throw a small lure. There are several ways that you can solve this problem depending on the line that you like to use. Me personally, I'm a huge believer of braid on spinning reels. It has virtually no memory. And when I first made that switch to braid and then using a leader material of some sort, my casting distance increased exponentially. But if you like to use monofilament or fluorocarbon, you can still have tremendous success, but we need to take the time to eliminate that twisting problem. First is when you spool up those spinning reels. And when it's sitting like this, it wants to come off the opposite direction of how it winds on to your reel. And that's going to eliminate a ton of problems. But if you already have line on your reel and you have just horrible memory in there, horrible line twist, the two ways that you can solve this is literally take the lure, snip it off, tie it off to something, a cleat on a boat, a tree, whatever it might be, and walk backwards and stretch that curl, stretch that coil out of your line. This works tremendously well. And you'll be surprised with monofilament how much stretch is in there. The second thing that you can do if you have access to a boat is once again go ahead and snip that lure off and then uncoil or unspool a lot of line. Leave it out behind the boat as you're idling very slowly. And what that is going to do is unroll all of those twists very much exactly the same way if you took an extension cord that is all messed up and you start to walk it through the grass it will uncoil it both of these methods work very well number two deals with fishing ned rigs or other light lures when there's some wind or some breeze now i know some of you are probably thinking no way if it's windy out there i'm not using a ned rig at all well it is possible if you follow these tips First is to go ahead and make sure that your cast is at a low trajectory. What we don't want to do is throw that lure way up in the wind where it's going to really grab it and push it back to us. If you make a nice big roll cast and keep that lure trajectory low, you're going to be shocked at how easily and how far you can throw that Ned Rig in the wind. The next thing to do is choose a lure that has a very slender profile. Now, of course, many of us use the TRD style soft plastics. That is, that's about as slim as you can get. But there are lots of other Ned baits out there, small Ned craws, Ned creature baits, Ned worms that have appendages or tails to them. They're a little bit wider. When there's some breeze out there, you're gonna to wanna to steer away from these because they catch the wind and going to reduce that casting distance by a lot. Number three is rod choice. This is really critically important. First, let's talk about the power rating. You're going to want to use something that's either a medium light or a medium power rating. And this is going to give you a little bit more whip or parabolic action on that cast with the light lure. And that's really important to transferring as much energy as possible. And the other thing that we often do when it comes to choosing our rods for fishing Ned rigs, whenever we start to get into a rod that's let's say a medium light power rating, it's real easy to choose a rod that's a little bit shorter in length. I like to use a rod for my Ned Rigs that is right at that seven foot mark. Once again, it's about leverage. If you have a rod that is too short in length, you're not going to get as much whipping action as leverage as you are with a little bit longer rod. And number four, this is my power tip, one that made an immediate impact for me as well. And that is when you go ahead and you reel that lure up to get ready to make your next cast, leave a little bit more line between the rod tip and the lure itself. So often we reel it up within that six to eight inches and make a cast. But if you want to add another 15 feet, 20 feet to your cast, just 
lengthen that amount of line there and then on your back cast, make sure that your Ned rig is all the way back before you start to bring your rod forward. You're gonna notice a difference absolutely on that first cast and really play around with the length. And hey, if you wanna watch a video that talks about, for me personally, what is my most effective Ned rig retrieve, go ahead and check this one out right here and make sure that you go out and encourage someone today. You never know how you might just change their life. For the Bass Fishing Life, I'm your host, Steve Rogers.